Welcome to today's video. If you're watching, then you're looking for an easy guide to cooking, whether you're a beginner or a casual player. In this video, I'll be going through each individual step and showing you exactly what to do so there's no confusion. I'll also be going through a bonus recipe that I use in higher tier cooking to make some quicksilver. There are some prerequisites for beginner players that I highly recommend that you do before we start, and I'll be going through those at the very beginning of the video. So with that being said, let's get into it. Okay, let's begin. The first thing you want to do is the main quest line. You want to go all the way up to the point where you fight the Black Spirit. The reason you want to do this is because you're going to get hundreds of millions in silver along the way, and you'll also get a large amount of energy and contribution points. These are vital when setting up your workers, your residency, and for just basically starting your cooking empire. The next step is to acquire lodging for your workers. This step is very simple and it requires some contribution points. Simply go to your map, pick the town that you wish to get your lodging at. Click on a home that's available. Homes that are available will be in blue, homes that you've already purchased will be in white. Click on lodging out of all the selections and click purchase. This will take your contribution points, but if you ever want to get them back, you can simply sell and get all those contribution points back at a later time. So you're not locked in forever. Your next step is you're going to want to hire your workers. Your workers are essential for gathering the ingredients that you need, AFK or otherwise, to make the meals that you want. To do this, simply find the work supervisor that's in your town. Every single town will have a work supervisor. If you go to your map, they should be the pickaxe symbol on the map. You will need energy to do this, and I'm about to show you why. I'm warning you. You'll click on the, the work supervisor and go to contract worker. And it'll let you know. It costs five energy each time, though. See, it costs five energy to hire one, but also costs five energy to cycle through. You want gold workers, always. But starting out, blue's fine. The only problem with that is it's RNG. So once you start, you'll go to view another. And it's a green goblin. I prefer humans simply because they take the least amount to feed. So I can feed them once or twice a day and I'm good. They'll work all day. The only issue with that is it's RNG. So you never know what you're going to get. So you just keep going through until you either run out of energy or you land upon the one that you want. I'm just going to go ahead and go through it and see if I get lucky and just show you the process of how you do need quite a bit of energy because it might take a while before you land on a blue or gold human worker. If you don't want to take this time and you just want to hire whatever and have them gather whatever, go for it. But every so often I would try to upgrade your workers. And I'm going to go with that. Um, yeah. Okay. I can't believe that just happened, but all right. Hopefully that'll happen to you too. <laughs> RNG can be like that sometimes. Once you've hired your workers, you'll need to place them on the node so that they can begin gathering the materials. To do this, simply pick the node that you wish to start gathering at and find the node manager. You'll speak to them and go to the node management tab. Top left will let you activate the node using contribution points. Then you activate whatever you wish to start gathering on. You'll have to use contribution points to activate this as well. Then it'll simply give you a guide to how many you want to gather and which worker you want to pick. I'll simply show this right now. Flaxseed farming, I'll invest one contribution point, and then I will be able to pick whichever worker that I want to place on it. So let's go ahead and pick this skilled human worker. I'll change how many times I want to the max, press OK, and start work. This worker is now gathering and will continue to gather as long as he is fed and has stamina. Thank you. 
The next step is you're going to want to establish your residency. This is the place that is your own. It's basically your own house. And in this, you can set up your cooking utensils so that you can actually begin making the dishes that you want. To do this is very similar to setting up your lodging. You simply go to the town that you wish to set up your residency at. I prefer Heidel, but Calfion is also good. No matter where you put it, always make sure it's very close to a central market NPC so that you can have easy access to the central market while you're doing your cooking. I'm going to go ahead and purchase one right now to show you how it's done. Simply pick on the residency that you would like. Make sure that you click residency and purchase. It'll ask you, it'll tell you how much contribution points it takes, and you simply just put yes. And there you have it. All right, once you've got your residency, you're almost done. The last and final step you need is to put your cooking utensils in your residency and give your character the buffs they need to get the most out of cooking. I highly recommend advanced cooking utensils. Just buy them off the central market for now. If you want to learn how to make them yourself, you can do that, but it's a very lengthy process. For beginners starting out, I would just buy them off the central market. If you can't afford advanced cooking utensils, start with any cooking utensil and just put it in your home. To do that, go to the central market, go down to life tools, cooking and alchemy. And then you'll have all the intermediate, advanced, Calfion and Serendia cooking utensils. I prefer advanced. Once you purchase it, go to your residency and enter place mode. Click on it. From your tab, bring it over and then place it in your home. Oh, I don't know why it wouldn't let me put it down. There you go. And then exit place mode. There it is. Voila. Cooking utensil. Now, as for the character, I say, in my personal opinion, th this is not an option. But what you're going to do is make sure that you have a plus three embroidered cook's clothes. You can buy this off the central market. Life spirit stones. You can also buy these off the central market. And finally, seafood cron meals. This will get your cooking time down to three seconds and you'll be getting the most experienced buffs out of your cooking, especially starting out as a beginner cook. To end the video, I'm going to show you not one, but three recipes that are very vital to cooking. All three recipes have ingredients that are easy to obtain, so they shouldn't be a problem, especially for beginner cooks. The first ingredient is vinegar. Vinegar is one wheat, one strawberry, one sugar, and one leveling agent. The wheat you can get from a node to gather by your workers. The strawberries, there's an NPC in Calfion that you can buy them from. And the sugar and the leveling agent you can get from any cook NPC or in manager NPC. Vinegar is used whenever you want to level up your cooking stage. So if you want to go from beginner to guru, you can use vinegar. A lot of pros stop at master and they start doing pickled vegetables with the vinegar that they've made to get to guru from master. It's a little quicker. But if you just want to go from beginner to guru with vinegar, go for it. The next ingredient is beer. Beer is five wheat, six mineral water, two leveling agent, and one sugar. Beer is used to feed your workers, to keep their stamina up so they keep gathering for you. So it's always good to have a, a big supply of beer on you. And if you have a surplus, then you can always take that to the central market. It's always selling.
the final ingredient or the final recipe is grilled bird meat. It's two chicken, six deep frying oil, one salt, and two cooking wine. Grilled bird meat can be made into Imperial Cuisine boxes, which you can sell to the Imperial Delivery NPC. There's one in every town. To get these cooks started, the first thing you'll need to do is acquire the nodes for the gathering. For the chicken meat, you want to go to Velia and activate Bartali Farms for their chicken meat production and Finto Farms for their chicken meat production. For the wheat, you want to go down to Heidel and you want Costa Farms for their wheat farming and Moretti Plantation for their wheat farming. Once you have all four of these nodes set up, you will be gathering wheat and chicken at a pretty good rate. If you AFK gather for an entire week, your weekend, if you want to cook on the weekends, you're going to be getting all of the silver and production that you need for the next week. Now finally, the NPCs that you will need to get the side ingredients in Calfion. Over here, if you go to the central, I guess the central selling hub. The person that sells the side products is this guy right here, the tavern owner. And here he will have all of your side ingredients. You got your sugar, your salt, cooking oil, deep frying oil, cooking wine, and mineral water. And for the strawberries, it's also here in Calfion. If you just take this back street past the horses and elephants, well, elephant, singular. I'll even show you on the map, just in case you don't have a residency in Calfion, you'll at least know where to go if you want to collect your strawberries. I'm not sure if there's another NPC that sells fruit and vegetables, but Milano Bellucci in Calfion does. So here you can buy strawberries is the cheapest way to go. It's only 700 per, but she also sells paprika, which is considered a vegetable, which you can use for pickled vegetables. If you get past your master stage and you want to move to that. And on the map, she is located right here in this little building. So at the south entrance, just automatically hook a left and she's right there. I hope this guide really helped you and it will continue to help you as you move forward with your cooking. This is coming from me learning all of the mistakes that I learned when I first started. This is what I believe the best startup method. It really helped me go from not knowing what I was doing and not gaining any experience or getting anything done to using this method and progressing into higher tier cooking. So if you liked the video or if it was helpful, leave a comment and let me know. Feel free to like and subscribe and I will catch you in the next one.